This is the S&P 500 one day reading for August 30th, 2023. It's currently June 26th, 2023, 9.36 p.m. Eastern time. The shuffle file for the 30th was created on June 16th, 2023 at 11.51 p.m. Eastern time. That's this video right here. So the overall theme and behavior for the day, the prudence card, I always try to avoid trading as much as possible around the prudence card. Um, it's usually sideways rotation with some tricky back and forth behavior. Either that or like multiple false tops, multiple false bottoms. Um, just tricky behavior you want to be cautious of it, it, like technical behavior that'll lead you to believe something that's false um similar to the devil card but not necessarily intentional like the devil card behavior around the highest high we have a period of sideways rotation along key support that is established near the high so we should see like sideways rotation or an, an established high at least for a little while near the high and then behavior around the lowest low there's a significant decline after meeting a key resistance level that we've failed to break through multiple times before there's a significant decline to meet the low and it looks like that takes place towards the end of the day but that would all go hand in hand with the knight of wands being the overall theme on the 30th which is a rally along a diagonal trend line ending with a fast sudden move higher and then a decline through that diagonal trend line with increasing volatility on the way down and there's quite a lot of knight of wands energy early in the day to midway through the day i'm advised to trade on a, a notable decline that'll stand out at at least the one day chart we also have this cross reading congruency where we have the strength card as the sneak preview card from the prior day here in the in the pre-market so this decline we probably decline uh, here at the close and then out of that decline here the following day there's a big move from the bottom of a range all the way to the top of a range and we meet a key resistance level right around the open that we sell off from with consecutively lower spikes up on the way down that leads to meeting key resistance between 10 and 11 and then rallying off that key resistance closer to 11 but rallying off that key resistance to meet a day's high so there's a day's high in there early in the day there followed by a, a peak or crest that's created roughly between the day's high and peak and uh, near overbought peak or crest is somewhere around 11 o'clock and we sell off pretty notably there between 11 and 12 through multiple support levels to meet a low there's a trade opportunity there a little indeterminate as to how to trade that and we'll look at that closer in, in a minute but out of that decline through multiple supports to, to meet a a trough somewhere around 11 30 ish there's a big move to the upside pushing the upper end of a range higher and we come to some price swinging between one and two where we have both a, a prominent trough and what's probably another high for the day closer to like 215 220 when bumping along resistance and when we're going to meet resistance there in that last hour and a half that we failed to break through multiple times before and we sell pretty notably down to a day's low there at the end of the day any rally in that last hour around the close is going to be opportunity to open up a short position in anticipation of this unicursal hexagram kind of energy going on but the way that i would trade this this is a scalp so after that first high we'll be near overbought territory around 10 30 ish i would open up a short position and scalp a, a decline off of that overbought crest or, or near overbought crest or peak scalp a decline and kind of cash out of that that decline around 11 30 and then end of day rally i would want to open up a short position looks like we probably open lower the following day based on the devil card it's usually a decline in situations like that and that's the s p 500 for august 30th 2023 let me know what you think by hitting that like button my friends we're doing this like almost two months in advance follow the rule of karma where else are you going to get this information? The rule of karma is a big part of why this channel exists. Without people, without angel investors like, like you, blessed people, following the rule of karma, this channel would not be able to produce this content. We don't trade. All we do is eat, sleep, and breathe predictions. With that said, guys, follow the rule of karma. The universe will send it back to you tenfold through this channel. I'll see you guys on the next one.